Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can find the difference between the two days and this difference you can result in the form of day, month, year, whatever that you like. So if you are looking for this solution then hang in with me and I will show you what I will how we can get that. So first of all the data that I am using is the sample superstore and in a minute I will show you how you can get this data. This is the data rows. This is how the data looks like. So if you see this order date is in the format of uh, YYMMDD. Let me just change it to my short date because I was explaining this particular concept how you can change your date format into any format in my previous video. So if you have want to see that you can get it because it's a quick hack to change your date format into any format that you want. So that is 28th October and is the when the order came in and you have the ship date 31st of October. So you want to find out how many days it takes to ship the orders, right? Similarly, if there are dates like for example, you have a manufacturing project which take months, right? So if you want to find out like months between two dates, years between two dates, we will going to see that how we can get it very easily. So before that, where is the data? Well, data is present over here. Uh, in the Google Drive, the link is present in the description. You can, once you will uh, land on to the data sets folder, you will go into the Power BI folder. There you have this Power BI data set. Along with that, I keep my, uh, my Power BI PBIX file. This is a logistics dashboard that I created. If you are interested in looking at it, you can go ahead and download it, right? Or you can see the tutorial as to how I created it. So that is also all the templates. I will keep posting it over here right and uh, apart from this one, one other quick information that this google sheet link is also present in the description that means all of my videos i keep a track here in this google sheet so 230th is the video where i am and i keep uh, pasting the link of this video so that means you can you can search any of the video over here and go to that video using the link present in the column B or you can create your own custom playlist based on your need. So anything you can do with this Google Sheet and the link is present in the descriptions with that. Let me go to the Power BI. So here I am into the Power BI. We have the order date and the ship date. So what I'm going to do is going to create a new column in which we will going to say that uh, days to ship. That means how many days it takes to ship the item with that the fun function the date function we will going to use is the date diff that means date difference and the date difference between the order date you know and the ship date so this is the thing you need to remember this is your this is your start date this is your end date right and that's how it will going to give you so ship date and uh, comma you want to find out the date okay so here the option is that you want to find out the difference in days, you want to find out the difference in months, quarter, second, week, year, all the parameters are present over here. So based on what I select, it will going to give me the output. So I'm selecting the days, right? So I'm closing this with that. If I click OK, we will going to see the number of days that is going to take like three days, six days, four days, five days, so on and so forth, right? So with that, we can very easily find out with the help of this function, just one function and then for all our date, uh, you know, the date period or the number of days, the number of months, the number of years that are there in two dates, we can find it very, very easily. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.